Halloween is a couple days away and you don't know what to do with your nails. I got you. In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I did my Halloween nails and they look super cute and it wasn't that hard. For a beginner, this kit comes with everything that you would need or at least the three most important parts. I will start off by prepping my nail, which is the most important process to making your nails last. I start by pushing back my cuticles and buffing the surface of my nails. Buffing takes the shine away from the nails, which is an important step in making your nails last. I use this kit that I got from Amazon. It comes with a dehydrator and primer, and I have been using it for a very long time. The kit that I mentioned is a good quality for the price, especially if you're a beginner, but I like using these tips better. They are all on Amazon. This is where the dehydrator comes in. You can see that it took the shine away from the nail and it almost made it pale. And the primer made a little bit more tacky. Now you're done with the prep for your natural nail and moving on to the tip itself. You can either use an e-file or a nail buffer to buff the inside of the tips so it could stick on your nail. Make sure not to overdo it though because it will rip through the tip. You are getting the same results. It's just a matter of you, do you want to save your money or do you want to save your time? But if you're not a nail tech and you don't want to do your nails like three times a week, then you could definitely get a cheaper one. I'm gonna look at my It's bio. one that I've actually used. As you can see, I'm filing the nail tip enough to fit the nail bed. Then I'm going in with the most important part, which is the glue. It is the gel that I talked about and showed at the beginning of the video, along with the UV lamp that was also in the kit. I did cure my natural nail under the UV lamp before putting gel on the tip. People get confused with that sometimes. They ask me if I put gel on both and cure both at the same time. I put gel on my actual nail, cure it, and then I put gel on the tip and then cure both. The smaller lamp is really important because it gives me control over the nail. I have to hold it down and if I let it go, it lets bubbles in. With the bigger lamp, it's really difficult to hold it and cure at the same time. So I use both, one to make sure it cures properly and the other one just to secure everything together. Now that we're done with the tip application and the prep, which is honestly the most important part, we go on to the gel application. First, I start by buffing my nails so the gel actually stays on my nails and doesn't fall off. When I first started, I didn't really care enough to do this step. I didn't see the importance of it, but I ended up having patches of bald spots on my nail. And then for the shaping, it's not really that hard. You just file enough to where it looks good. So make sure you don't file too much, but at the same time, make sure it's even from the bottom because you don't want it to be sharp. If you follow me pretty much anywhere, you know this is my holy grail. I use this in every single one of my sets. I love this nude so much and I have linked it and talked about it so many times and I will continue to link it because I mean, look at it. Most nail polishes, you're gonna have to go in with two coats especially if they're nude or light. Something that I literally wished someone had told me when I first started, lighter colors cure for longer. So if you were going to cure your nails for 60 seconds, cure it for 120 just to make sure because sometimes you do two coats and then it starts lifting and it looks so bad. So just cure it extra time. Here you can see the second coat coming through and it looks so good. I just wish I can leave them like this, but we're doing a Halloween set. You better get your nail brushes or your gel liners, whatever you prefer to use. I can tell you that both work, but I personally like to use the brush because it gives me more precise lines. And it's okay if you can't draw perfect lines. I promise I didn't know how to draw perfect lines either. It took so much practice, so many tears, and even now you can see that one side is thicker than the other. But just wipe it. Stop stressing about it. Just wipe it. Move on. Use a q-tip or a cuticle pusher, whatever you need to wipe it. I actually found it to be more precise to use like a q-tip to wipe it. You can see over here I am making very precise lines. You just play around with it. If you want thick lines, go for thick lines. Just make sure they're proportional because those lines that you're seeing right now, I had to redo that. They were way too thick. Also, another really important part is as soon as I got a perfect line down, I cured it because I know for a fact I'm going to mess up and so I just want to like save my progress. For the nail art part, I picked something pretty cute and simple. I didn't want to do something complex. Breaking it down, it's a bunch of seeds and lines. The most important part of the whole manicure is the top coat. It just seals everything and then cuticle oil tops everything. It just makes it so cute and shiny and healthy. I'm kind of new to YouTube, so I don't know how to link my Amazon storefront. I'll try to figure it out, but if you don't see it, it's definitely on my Instagram, which is Randa Rosa. I really hope you like this set and that you found this video helpful. And subscribe if you like this content and I'll be back for more. Thank you for watching.